everyone welcome back to the hilltop hideaway today we got a special homemade fast food treat for all y'all now don't get me wrong every now and then when i'm feeling really shitty about myself and super depressed i want to go and get like a shit mac um i don't know what it is i need some salty french fries i need a uh, real pop and i need a shit mac i get people you know wanting to eat whatever and having your guilty pleasures but People that say when you go to this restaurant and it's the best thing ever and you're so happy it's back, you're fucking drunk. Sorry, man. Um, I used to order this all the time back in the day, but guess what? I also was fucking drunk. That's right, we're making a Mexican pizza. With cancel culture going on, I can't believe they can even sell this because frankly, I don't think they make these in Mexico and it sounds pretty insulting if you ask me. Um, but what do I know? I'm just a white guy that sells a shitload of tacos. Now to start this out, we are going to need two fried corn tortillas. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Fried corn tortillas. Eh, if you want to air fry them, good luck with that. Um, it sounds like baking to me, but we want fried crispy corn tortillas because, well, that's just better than your bitch ass air fryer. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. You may not all have the luxury of a nice industrial deep fryer like I do here. Maybe you have a fry daddy at home or you can buy the to tostada shells, um, you know, as is ready to go. But these are basically what my delicious home fried tortilla chips are made out of. We just don't cut them. Fry them up flat. We got a little refried beans. We got some of my homemade from Jack's ground beef taco meat. Now we need something to hold it together. So we're gonna put a little cheese inside, of course. Now when we get that far, we got two more of those bad boys. Now, this is where people say it gets tricky at home. I don't know why. I mean, if you want to, you can literally just go to Taco Bell and get a bunch of sauce and put it on there. I'm pretty sure they probably sell it in a bottle in a store. But why not have fun and make it your own and make it better than using some corporate fucking sauce when you can do everything homemade? That's my whole thing. We can eat just as good as we want anywhere and save money and do it at home. Um, you just gotta not be a lazy fuck and wanna do something. This sauce here is pretty simple. It's just my Mr. Jaso previous video. You can take your favorite salsa and then I like to add Cholula because that's my taco hot sauce that I just enjoy. I don't know, I just like the taste of it. Check it out. Some Mr. Jaso. Some salsa, some chalula, and just give it a mix. Mm. 
We're just trying this out because we have this stuff on hand. I'm sure if you're anything like my family, you're eating tacos two or three or four times a week because um, tacos and nachos are just fucking delicious. If you're like my wife and daughter, they're kind of impatient and they like uh, the old microwave for fast and easy um, melting. I like to bake all my stuff in the oven to get a nice crispy melt on it, if that makes any sense. We're gonna top these with our sauce we just made, then we're gonna put some more cheese on it, and we're gonna pop them in the oven for 10, 15 minutes, whatever, at like 375 until everything's as melted and as hot and crispy as you want. Couple spoonfuls on each one. Hit it with some cheese. Ooh, that's a mad stacker there. We're gonna pop these in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes at 375 till everything's melty and hot. We've been about 20 minutes so I can get them nice and crispy. Oh yeah, they're melted and they're hot. Let's plate them up. Dollop a daisy. There you go. It's gonna be messy, but I'm gonna try to pick this up and eat it. That's kind of what I intended to. I know when you get them from that place, they're sloppy as fuck and you can't do anything but just shovel it in your mouth so it comes out the other end. I'm gonna cut it in half, see if we can get it in half. Maybe you start making all these fast food things you like late at night at home and everybody comes to your house when they're all fucked up after the buck. Wait, that's stupid. No one wants anybody. Forget it. Keep going through Taco Bell. I'm gonna keep making my own delicious shit because simple is good and you can make it all up in your hood. And it stays together. You know. Woke up in the redwood forest. Star Wars looking like motherfuckers. Personally, I refuse to fry with air until they make a recyclable, gluten-free, non-allergenic air. I have a low air tolerance.